Well, happy hour was cut short at the Hogwash Whiskey Den Thursday when the bar flooded. Rain from yesterday's thunderstorm caused the building's drain pipe to burst. Customers stayed dry, but water contaminated over 100 rare and expensive bottles, some more than 30 years old. New on Nightside, Kyle Simchuk shows us how a leaky ceiling became the ultimate buzzkill. The whiskey was flowing, then the water came pouring in. Dude, this is crazy. Thursday storm soaked streets in Spokane. Puddles formed on the roof of the old cracker factory on West Pacific. An indoor drain pipe burst, and gallons of water came rushing out onto old hardwood floors. The upstairs floor is our downstairs ceiling, and uh, I knew it was coming directly down here at that time. I heard um, quite a bit of distress, I should say, from my crew. I knew immediately what that meant for hogwash. Simon Morby, hogwash's spirit director, couldn't find a big enough cork. And that downpour continued all along the length of my bar. Um, luckily, you know, avoiding most guests, but back here, I mean, the crew was drenched, as was most of our product and our equipment. Water came from the roof where there's plenty of bird droppings. It's not the whiskey sour you want to try. It wasn't sanitary, it wasn't clean, um, so of course immediately we had to close down shop. More than 100 rare and expensive bottles had to be pulled, some valued between three and $4,000. I think our oldest was uh, barreled in 1970. And while the water is stopped, losses could total $10,000, which insurance will cover. Something not covered? the time it took to build that collection. I carefully select bottles from whiskeys from around the globe, and uh, I know it's been quite an investment. And this weekend, Hogwash is running a flood sale. They're offering $10 pours on mostly every bottle in their collection, along with $5 wells. In Spokane tonight, Kyle Simchuk, KXLY4 Nightside.